a designer based in Melbourne, has asked, how do you control the cursor? Notice as I move around now, the cursor is the system cursor. Uh, but if I click, the cursor changes to a crosshair with a target. He wants to be able to control that cursor, its appearance and so on. You need to go to Tools and you can look at two drawing or global parameters. The key one is global parameters. And if we look in here, we can display the system cursor. That's the little pointer, yes or no. And we can display a crosshair. So if I say no, let's don't do that and we'll OK it. Now when I come back into the screen, can you see GCAD Plus is behaving quite normally, but its cursor is no longer that crosshair. So if we go back to the settings again, it's the global parameter, not the drawing parameters. Drawing parameters just apply to this drawing, but we're interested, or he's interested in looking at the crosshair. So we can say, yeah, we'll put it back on, but the crosshair size zero means full screen, top to bottom and left to right. Uh, so we'll, let's change that. I haven't done this for a long time. We'll, we'll put it at 50. And I don't know what's a reasonable value. And we cross here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Can you see now we have a cross here that, to me, looks awkward. Um, and if we go back into the global parameters, and let, let's change that to 100. And we'll say, OK, now we should have, ooh, maybe that didn't bite. Let's go again. It's in options. Yeah. Hit the enter key to make it bite and OK. Oh, that's, that's interesting to me. That's put it back to the full cursor. So I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Options 100. We probably want something like um, 25 should get a quarter size one. And there we are. And just for completeness, let's change that to 10. And we'll OK it. So you could work with a, cur a crosshair cursor that's really quite small. And you could reduce that and play with it. So the preference is yours. So that's how to control the size and appearance of the crosshair cursor. So I hope that helps.